We begin tonight with the latest developments on a mill fire in Pawtucket that we first reported on Eyewitness News this morning. Good evening, I'm Caroline Goggin. Tonight we've learned a man who accidentally set himself on fire, which ultimately led to the discovery of the mill fire, is currently at the hospital recovering. Police tell us that man and a woman were arrested for unrelated warrants. They're identified as Joseph Green and Megan Gamage. Police say they are connected to the fire that destroyed a mill on Pine Street. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto is live on the scene tonight with the very latest. Sheena. Caroline, we were actually on scene here to work on the initial story. When we were outside with police, we started seeing smoke on top of the building here in the roof. It got heavier and heavier, and then it turned into flames. What started as a slow smoke quickly erupted into orange around 630. The battalion chief on scene says flames likely rekindled from the massive fire crews battled in the early hours of Friday morning. This roof has a lot of void spaces, probably several different layers of roof. This was the scene less than 24 hours ago on Pine Street. Eyewitness News was here as a part of the old mill building collapsed. A fiery, blazing scene calling in crews from surrounding towns and cities. Leaving behind a pile of rubble, it took firefighters around eight hours to get it under control. Investigators spent much of the day surveying the damage. Fire officials continued to monitor the situation, but still didn't expect to see the flames reignite. I was kind of shocked to the actual volume of fire that we had tonight. I expected to come here several times tonight for puffs of smoke or, you know, calls for reignited, but not like this. Crews quickly fought the Friday night fire, demolishing more of the building, hoping this is the last time they're called back. It's pretty exhausting for them. Most of the guys that are working tonight are on a different shift, so they're pretty fresh, but there's a couple of guys that have been working since last night. Now, this is a vacant building. According to authorities, there were no injuries reported tonight. Of course, this is still a very active and ongoing investigation. We have a lot more information from all day long on our website, WPRI.com. For now, reporting live in Pawtucket, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, Eyewitness News.